social social media can be uh, like yeah, if you're married, uh, I guess it would it would kind of give you a lot of tips. Well, you have to be able to control yourself, though. That's the thing uh-huh. about it. Social media is 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 like uh, it's like your conscious, you know. The shit just it gets magnified, and it will tell on you, or you will tell on yourself through it and through and how you interact in social media. Mm-hmm. So, honorable deacon, we have a question that has come from. This is a live one now. Let me see who it's from. Question just came through. From Levon Duncan. And he asks, and Tiffany, you can weigh in on this one too. He asks, can, I don't know where he's from, but he asks, can you be upset, mad with your significant other and give her some at the same time? And beast fuck the shit out of her. Yes, I have. Multiple times. Did she know that you were mad at her? Yeah. Yep. Uh, she should have fucked it. They should have fucked it. And it so, the cry- and that's when the crying started again. And they was like, <laughs> I'm sorry, I won't do it anymore. They knew exactly what the fuck was going on, too. So was it ecstasy? Even if it was not, it, it's something simple as not leaving me some juice in the container and leaving the container in the refrigerator, you know. Something just that simple, get a beast fucked. She would know it. Honorable Deacon, are you really that hard on the ladies? Well, I used to be. I, I don't know as far as right now because I'm not really into that dating scene. Uh, but yeah, I used to be. I used to be kind of, like I said, I'm spoiled, man. But you only withhold sex Especially for a guy, I mean, it's kind of stupid because you have to release all that fluid from your, your sex, you know, before you go crazy or get some type of contamination, you know. Uh-huh. Um, you only withhold sex when you know that you're not going to be with that person for forever, forever, you know what I mean? Ronnie says that, Ronnie says that Social media doesn't ruin a relationship. People ruin relationships. Yeah, that goes back into me saying that you have to control yourself, have to contain yeah. yourself. Mm-hmm. You did say that, yes. And I agree with I agree with you all. I might have misspoken earlier, but I agree. I thoroughly agree with you all. Um. Ronnie's wondering if juice or the lack of juice or the misplacement of juice is really a valid issue for you to get upset with someone. Uh, yeah. Yes, it has been in the past. Especially, I've been in situations where a person really didn't drink, let's say it was for Pisces. They didn't even like the taste of it, but they would offer it to their guests or what have you. And it was more than enough to leave me. Even if it was just a fucking sip, I would have appreciated it. But don't put the container back in there. Well, that's again it. You know, what the, what, what the fuck is that? You know, so I didn't get mad at that particular point. I brought it, I brought it to her attention. But then later on that night, she... She understood the significance of leaving daddy some juice. Yeah. I imagine so. I imagine so. Tiffany Chan says she doesn't really get mad like that. She's just cool as long as she gets a lot of attention from her man. That's all. Like, show her some love. Give her kisses. Hug her. Uh, Honorable Deacon, are you a kisser? Are you a hugger? Are you an emotional uh, uh, public displays of affection kind of guy? If she's a bad bitch, then of course. Mm -hmm. Uh, It's got to be worth it. Have you ever dated a bugabear? Or a bugaboo? I'm pretty sure I have. Yeah, yeah. 
way back in the day. And you wouldn't... Uh... And, and, and it wasn't a, a, a long time thing either. It was probably like for a couple of nights <laughs> to get some energy off. Did, uh... Okay. Do you think that you would have showed public affection to her? Hell to the no. It ain't no way. I'm like, that was the uh, late night, early morning, and get the fuck out before somebody see you type shit. You know? Why would you? Why would you uh, take a lady through that? Why would you give a lady? Wednesday. Huh? It would be on Wednesday. <laughs> Middle of the week type thing, you know. But why? If you know you're not gonna be with someone long term, why not be? Why be with them at all? Um, it was a release, more or less. And she understood it like I understood it, you know. So I wasn't like really leading her on per se. So you're saying she that the woman to get her wanted her gone too? Okay, so you're saying she wanted her release as well? Yeah. She knew it was worth it. It was great material that she was working with. She appreciated the chance. I can remember one time, though, dude, for some reason, and you know my cousin, uh, was across the fucking street and saw me coming out of the sick house, though. And he laughed his ass off. I was wow. like, man, my cousin's great. And you know, that's the worst person in the world to see that shit go on because you never let me live that shit down. <laughs> and uh, what was your uh, expression as you walked out? I hopped in the whip and uh, she drove me back to my crib. I didn't say shit. Oh, I did not say shit. There was nothing I could say. Absolutely not, not a word. I ain't say a word. I just let him talk. He said he talked shit for like fucking uh, three or four months, man. Nonstop. Burnett Balton. Burnett Balton. Thank you, Burnett, for joining us tonight. Out of Capitol Heights, Maryland, asked Honorable Deacon, why are you single? Um, it goes back to me being spoiled. And so you haven't found point, any any woman to spoil you? Well, that's not true. But it's, the thing is that I can't bring what I want and desire around my daughter at this particular juncture in my life. And I would rather raise my daughter to be well-rounded than have these... Uh, S and M type thoughts going through her head when she's hearing some lady screaming from her daddy's bedroom. You know what I mean? So, um, but if it's the right I, woman, then you know it's whatever. But I haven't found her yet. I went through that as well. You know, during the years as a single parent, I shut shut the relationships down, sacrificed those years. So I can respect that. Um, but what 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 is it? So you said screaming from daddy's bedroom. What is it that you would uh, you would want? What kind of lady is it that you would want, other than one that would spoil you? She would have to be a super freak, first of all. Uh-huh. A super duper freak. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, we have to be compatible on, on a, a, a mental level, also. Um, that's where go get there. Uh, she has to have a collection of high heels that she can wear at any given moment just in case. Do you like a woman to have high heels that puts her taller than you or or around the same size as you are or just taller, elevating her height? I've dated women taller than me. Um, that's not an issue. That's not a problem. Mm-hmm. I've dated so women have, shorter than me. That's not a problem do you, either. Do you, do you have a certain inch a level of inches on the heels that you prefer her to have i do not i've been having one girlfriend that wore football not football cleats they were like uh 
the track cleats or something. It was just strange, but I was like, what the fuck? I had one chick that had wrestling boots on. Actually, why? I don't know. I still don't know to this day why she had wrestling boots. Um, just something different, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. To see, to see the, the total mass of her femininity, you know. Mm-hmm. As long as I can hear, I, I'm gonna tell you what really got me into this. There was this lady. I could hear her walking. It was always on the wooden floor. She always had on like stilettos. Uh-huh. And I could hear that clicking. And I could envision in my my mind the way her ass swayed in those little dress, those little dresses. And from that point on, I was I was thrown. I was gone. You know, I was spellbound by this. Did you ever see it, so or you I imagined knew. it based upon the noise? Based, no, based I upon saw, the sound? No, I saw it first. I saw it for for years. This, this lady I knew for years. Did okay. you ever? Did you ever fuck her? No, not that particular one. No, I was maybe fourteen, fifteen, maybe. And just really getting into it, but I would always hear the older man talking about, you know, the lady has to have high heels and things like that. And I really didn't understand that until I saw her. And she has a nice teardrop ass, and it's a suede dress. And that little clicking noise, and I was just like, oh my God. It was like total infatuation, you know what I mean? Was this in a school setting? Um, No. So my question is, where at fourteen fifteen would you see or hear a woman walking in heels? Church. What environment? Church. 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 <laughs> Lord, I'm imagining you. If you knew the first church member of yours that popped into my mind, you... <laughs> I don't think I want to know. <laughs> But there was an older, older lady. It was like a younger one. She sure one. was. <laughs> oh, never mind. I don't want to know for real now. Shout out to, shout out to Too Fine. <laughs> but I think that's when most men develop. You know, if, if they're church going uh, guys, that's when they develop what they want or like in women going to church. How they dress, how they smell, how they walk, how they talk to you. You know, yeah, yeah. Church, school, one you know, one from one of those pillars. One of those pillars. Tiffany Chan asks, "What do you mean by spoil you?" When, you know, we talk a lot about the honorable deacon being spoiled, and you've talked about juice, but give some descriptions to the ladies about spoiling. What are your expectations? of a woman in a relationship? She has to be willing to be broken on every level. Yep. And built back up. Yes. To a greater level than she was before with me. Yes. Yes. She has to be able to love me when she, uh, we were talking about a few seconds ago even when she's mad she has to be able to love me even when she has nothing she has to be able to love me even when she's sitting there in all of her juices sore swollen she has to be able to still continue now there are some great women in our miss in our world and I know you will would acknowledge that a woman is great. What happens mm-hmm. when you meet a woman who's great? She comes into your midst, bringing her greatness to the table, but she still needs to be broken down and built back up. If a woman who knows that she's great and acknowledges her achievements hears you say what you've just said, still has an interest in the Honorable Deacon, brings that arrogance to the relationship with the Honorable Deacon, what will you say to her when she doesn't think that she needs to be broken and then resists it a bit? 
assuming 